Welcome back guys. So I am ready to get my pre-baby weight and body back. I'm just ready to just feel like myself again. Um, for those of you that are new here, I do have a newborn. Well, he actually just turned three months. He's about to be four months. So I guess not really a newborn anymore, which is why I'm like so ready to just like lose the baby weight. My first pregnancy, I feel like the weight came off like so much faster. By like month three, I was like looking like myself again. And this time around, it's been a little bit different. So I'm gonna basically just take you guys through what I've been doing as far as like what I've been eating and things like that. And this video is being sponsored by Noom. And Noom is actually the, the weight loss program that I'm personally using right now. If you're not familiar with Noom, it is a health program that was created by behavior psychologists. It helps you create long sustainable habits to help you reach your weight loss goal. Which I think it's just so different than everything else out there. The way that they approach food is very similar to my personal philosophy philosophy about food. You guys know I don't believe in diets, don't believe in depriving yourself. I believe that all food is good and everything in moderation. This program definitely aligns with those values. Noom uses a very unique color system and this is really helpful when it comes to making food choices and also tracking your food. You have your green foods, which are gonna be your least calorie dense foods, meaning they have the highest concentration of healthy nutrients. And then you have your yellow foods. These you wanna have a little bit less of because they have a little bit more calories. Then you have your red foods, which you don't need to avoid altogether, but um, it is recommended to limit these. These are gonna be your red meats and your desserts, also your um, oils and fats. Another thing that's really unique about Noom is that you have daily lessons that you follow and it, they're really short, so don't <laughs> don't get freaked out like, oh no, we have homework. No, they're like super short, like five to 10 minutes long. I literally do them while I'm pumping in the morning. Um, and they're just little lessons to teach you about nutrition, how to track your food, and just how to maintain those healthy habits so that um, your weight loss is sustainable and long-term. Noom is just there to like remind you like, hey, you have a goal, stick to it. And I really feel like those little lessons that you do every day, um, they really just help keep you on track because they're like little daily reminders. When you first sign up for Noom, you go through a questionnaire. Um, Noom designs a plan very custom to you. And it kind of helps you determine your why, which I thought was really cool. And that was one of the things that got me like really excited to share this program with you guys, especially if you are struggling with weight loss. Sometimes you just have to have a paradigm shift and look at things a little bit different. And I'll share with you guys my why, why I want to lose weight. I want to have energy. I want to have energy to keep up with Sebastian and Elliot. I want to be a very involved mom. I want to be able to like play with Sebastian at the park and keep up with him. Also, another cool thing about Noom is that they have virtual coaching available seven days a week. So any question that you may have about weight loss, you can ask it directly from your phone because you can also download their app and access it that way, um, which I like doing my little questionnaires and my like daily lesson plans on my phone. So after you go through and do like the quiz, they assign you a calorie budget, which is um, basically how many calories you can eat within a day. Of course, it's going to be according to how quickly you want to lose weight and just like what your goals are. And then after you determine how quickly you want to lose weight, it'll actually give you your results and it'll give you an, uh, an expectation date. I want to lose about 12 pounds, 10 to 12 pounds to be in my pre-baby weight. It said by April. I don't remember the exact date. It was like April something. I would be back at my weight if I follow the noon program so I'm, I'm like really excited so it's like really convenient if you want to take your weight loss seriously and you're just ready to try something new then I definitely recommend noon to you guys check the link down below in the info box you guys can get a free health evaluation and let's go ahead and jump in and show you guys what my full day of eating looks like Starting off in the morning, I had my coffee with sugar and cream. I use half and half and then I also use um, sugar in the raw. For breakfast, I usually like to have something that has a lot of protein because it's usually right after a really good pump session. Um, so on this day, I'm having one of my favorite things that I've been obsessed with recently. It's basically boiled eggs and then I, um, I make like a little egg salad. I don't know if you guys knew this, but red peppers are loaded with vitamin C. So I try to eat them raw. They actually have more vitamin C than like an orange, which is insane. I am making enough food for me and my husband, but I will show you guys how much of this I eat. Um, so I have all the egg yolks. I'm going to be adding um, celery, which I store my celery in this water container. It'll stay fresh for up to two weeks, so it's very convenient. 
And then to that, I will add about one tablespoon of mayo and then also salt, pepper, paprika, and then my cut up celery. And I will mix this until it is like super creamy. And then I go ahead and cut up the whites of the egg and I add the eggs back in. And that way, I don't know what it is, but it, I feel like this is way creamier this way than if I were to mix it with the egg whites because I get to really like mash those egg yolks. And you guys, I'm not just eating this with the bell pepper because I'm trying to be healthy. No, this actually tastes really, really good. There's something about that contrast of the crispy bell pepper and the creamy egg salad. And of course I have to add sriracha to it. And I've also been obsessed with this seasoning that I get from Trader Joe's. I think it's called sofrito. It's really, really good. And that is my breakfast. Um, I did split it in half, so I had a total of two eggs and one bell pepper. And it was so, so yummy. And then for lunch, I made this huge salad and I also made some french fries in my air fryer with parmesan and lemon pepper. First I made the french fries. I actually made like potato wedges and I just scrubbed the skin really, really well. I don't take the skin off because that's where all the nutrients are. And then I just coated it lightly with some olive oil and I seasoned it with um, a little bit of sea salt and I put it in the air fryer for 15 minutes at 400 degrees and I shook it like every five minutes and you will get like really delicious fries with very little oil. It's so, so good. But while those fries were making, I went ahead and started on my salad dressing. I went ahead and minced two cloves of garlic and I added it to my mason jar. Then I also added a fourth of a cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, about half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, some oregano, salt, and pepper and also a squeeze of lemon juice. And I will have recipes and ingredients to everything that I'm showing you guys in the down bar. And then I just shook that up. You can actually make extra of this and keep it in your fridge for easy access. So I'm gonna take that dressing and I'm gonna marinate some chickpeas. These are gonna be my protein and um, chickpeas actually have a ton of protein in them and they are so delicious. And for my salad, I'm gonna be using spinach, also cucumbers, tomatoes. I did have a yellow bell pepper in my fridge, so I went ahead and used that as well. And yeah, this salad is so versatile. Like, use whatever you have in your fridge. I also had these little mozzarella sticks that were wrapped in prosciutto, and those are really good too, so I added that to the salad. And then I just tossed it with that dressing and also the chickpeas that had been marinating. And then to my fries, I added Parmesan cheese, red chili flakes, and lemon pepper. And you guys, these, I've been eating these almost every day because they are so, so good. Um, you guys have to try them. And this is like my perfect lunch. Again, fries and a salad. Like what more can a girl ask for? For dinner, I had some salmon with white rice, avocado, and kimchi. I had to defrost my salmon. A little trick my mom taught me is to defrost it in cold water with the salt. And this actually acts as a defroster, but also it takes away that fishy taste. I added a little bit of olive oil to my hot pan and then I put it crispy side down and just make sure the salmon is like super dry. And then I just seasoned it with a little bit of adobo. After two minutes, I went ahead and flipped it and you guys can see the skin was nice and crispy, so good. And then I cooked it for exactly one minute on the other side and then um, seasoned the skin side as well. And then I removed the fish from the pan and I'm making a little sauce. I added some minced garlic, I think I used like two cloves, also some red chili flakes and a little bit of butter. Like this is probably like a teaspoon or less. And then I just kind of use that butter to deglaze the pan. And then I just let that garlic kind of brown up a bit. You just want to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't burn. It took about a minute. And then I added um, the juice of half of a lemon.
and then I added some capers. I love capers with salmon. It's so, so good. Now I went ahead and threw my salmon back in there and then just cooked it for another minute. So it's like a, a total of like five minutes cooking. And then just turned the stove off and I had some jasmine rice left over. So I went ahead and added my jasmine rice, my salmon with that caper sauce on top. Oh, that sauce is so good, you guys. And it's so quick to make. And then I also had half an avocado and some kimchi. I buy this giant tub of kimchi from Costco. It just adds a ton of flavor. And then I season my avocado with some everything but the bagel seasoning. And this is such a satisfying dinner. I've really been trying to eat a lot of fish and eggs and just the things that are loaded with omega-3s since I'm still breastfeeding. And this is one of my favorite quick dinners to make. It's so yummy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you to Noom for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna have the Noom link down below for you guys and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.